The average human can lift around 70 kilograms or about 154 pounds in a deadlift. But the Hulk, he effortlessly lifts over 100 tons. That's approximately 1,290 times stronger than you are right now. Such extraordinary strength, however, comes at a biological cost, one that's completely impossible in the real world. Are you ready to discover whether you can actually survive being the Hulk? Smash that like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. Before we get into the science, let's rewind a bit and remember how this green giant came to be and why he's so iconic. The Hulk first appeared in 1962, created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby at Marvel Comics. Bruce Banner, a genius scientist, became the Hulk after a gamma bomb test went horribly wrong. In an act of heroism, Banner saved a teenager named Rick Jones from the explosion, but in doing so, he was exposed to an enormous burst of gamma radiation. Instead of dying instantly, the radiation altered Banner's DNA giving him the ability to transform into the Hulk whenever his anger surged. In the comics, the Hulk's feats are beyond belief. During the Secret Wars storyline, he managed to hold an entire mountain weighing around 150 billion tons to protect his fellow heroes. That's roughly equivalent to lifting 375 million Boeing 747 airplanes at once. In another arc, Planet Hulk, his strength reached such absurd levels that he cracked the planetary core of Sakaar with his punches, destabilizing an entire planet. And during World War Hulk, he became powerful enough to take down almost every superhero on Earth, entirely on his own. These epic moments are a huge part of Hulk's appeal, but the question remains, could any of this actually happen from a biological and physical perspective? Spoiler alert, the truth is both terrifying and mind-boggling. Let's get real. The gamma radiation that supposedly gave Hulk his wild powers would, in reality, kill you almost instantly. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Bruce Banner transforms after being exposed to an enormous gamma radiation explosion. The story suggests that the radiation somehow rewrote his DNA, giving him the power to transform whenever his anger spikes. It's a classic comic book trope. A scientist gains superpowers instead of dying from an accident. In the real world, however, the opposite would happen. Gamma radiation is a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths shorter than 10 pictometers. That's one ten millionth of a meter, making it more energetic than X-rays. Gamma rays can pass through concrete, lead, and even several meters of steel. When they interact with biological tissue, they ionize atoms, ripping electrons away and causing severe molecular damage. To put it in perspective, the Chernobyl disaster released approximately 300 sieverts per hour at its peak, a dose that would kill a human in about one minute. The Hulk's gamma explosion would likely release hundreds of thousands of sieverts instantly, enough to cause instantaneous cellular destruction. Just eight sieverts is typically lethal to humans, and exposure to more than 30 sieverts would vaporize organic tissue. You would suffer from acute radiation syndrome, characterized by intense nausea, vomiting, dizziness, hemorrhaging, and massive internal organ failure. Your bone marrow would be destroyed, leading to complete immune system collapse, and your DNA would be so damaged that cell replication would cease. Even wearing advanced protective gear wouldn't save you. Gamma radiation's penetrating power is so intense that even several inches of lead wouldn't be enough to protect you. It would be like trying to stop a tidal wave with a sheet of paper. Okay, let's entertain the idea that you somehow survived the Gamma Blast. The next hurdle would be the transformation itself, which is equally impossible. You would need to double your height and triple your muscle mass within seconds. Human skin, which can stretch up to one and a half times its original size before tearing, would not survive this rapid expansion. Imagine the worst stretch marks you've ever seen, multiplied a thousandfold appearing all over your body in seconds. Your skin would tear apart in layers, causing massive bleeding and trauma. 
Your bones, designed to support your current body mass, would fail spectacularly. The human femur, the strongest bone, can withstand about 1,700 pounds of compression force. As the Hulk, your increased mass would subject your skeletal system to forces well beyond this limit, resulting in instant fractures. Your joints, unable to support the added stress, would dislocate, and your skull would likely crack under the pressure of your growing brain. Your cardiovascular system would also fail. As your size and muscle mass triple, your heart would struggle to pump blood through your expanded vascular network. Blood vessels would burst, leading to internal hemorrhaging. Even if your heart could keep up, the energy demand to fuel those enormous muscles would be astronomical. Neurologically, things would be even worse. The human nervous system operates on a delicate balance of signal transmission and coordination. Rapidly expanding muscles would stretch and tear nerve fibers, leading to complete paralysis. Your brain, growing faster than your skull could accommodate, would suffer from massive intracranial pressure, leading to a rapid loss of consciousness or death. Let's assume you somehow make it through the transformation without your body disintegrating. The next nightmare is your metabolism. A normal human burns around 2,000 calories per day. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps consumes up to 12,000 calories during peak training. The Hulk, however, would need an estimated 100,000 calories per day just to function. During combat, that number could easily spike to several million calories per day. Your digestive system couldn't process food fast enough, no matter how much you ate. Even if you gorged constantly, your intestines would hit their maximum absorption rate in a matter of hours. The sheer energy output from Hulk's actions, like leaping miles in a single bound or smashing tanks, would generate enormous amounts of waste heat. Your core temperature would skyrocket to fatal levels, essentially cooking you from the inside. To make matters worse, your liver and kidneys would be overwhelmed by the byproducts of rapid muscle breakdown and metabolic waste, leading to organ failure. There's also the issue of muscle density. Human muscles are about 1.06 grams per cubic centimeter. To reach Hulk strength, muscle density would need to be two to three times higher, which is biologically unattainable. What did we learn today? Trying to become the Hulk in real life would result in a series of brutal deaths. Vaporized by gamma radiation, crushed by your own skeletal structure, cooked alive by your overactive metabolism, and defeated by the unforgiving limitations of human biology. But despite being scientifically impossible, the Hulk symbolizes our fascination with the concept of unlimited power and resilience. He represents the human desire to overcome impossible odds and break free from physical limitations. Even though reality can't accommodate such transformations, our imagination and curiosity drive us to explore the boundaries of what's possible. By understanding what we can't do, we gain a greater appreciation for the human body's real capabilities, from our incredible healing processes to the remarkable strength that can surface in moments of crisis. The Hulk reminds us that, even without superpowers, we already possess some pretty extraordinary traits. Resilience, adaptation, survival, and imagination. If you enjoyed this epic journey through science and pop culture, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Which impossible character should we scientifically break down next? See you in the next video.